Hello, I'm Rob Phillips. Welcome to my channel. So for today, we're going to be doing a 30 minute yin yoga sequence, which is all about releasing the shoulders and the upper body in general. And we're also going to explore the meditative theme of becoming more present in this moment. You won't explicitly need any props, although if you have access to a blanket, you may find that helpful. And so when we're ready to go here, we're going to find our way into a wide knee child's pose to get started. And so as we make our way into wide knee child's pose, if you do have a blanket, I'm going to recommend opening it up nice and wide so you get a little bit of cushion. If you're practicing without a blanket, keep in mind you could always turn sideways on your mat um, just to give yourself a little more padding for the knees. As you're ready to set up here, take the knees wide enough that you feel some release onto the inner thighs. And then extend your chest forwards here and begin to relax. Begin to settle. So mostly we'll be doing chest and shoulder opening, but we'll certainly be doing a little bit of hip and lower body stuff along the way too, such as this pose. Keep in mind as you settle into your practice, for this yin yoga style, we really want to listen to our body. We want to make sure we're never forcing it in any sort of an aggressive way. So if in any of these poses, sensation starts to flare up, become sharp or intense, Definitely back out from there. Remembering as well, you're welcome to leave the pose early if you think that might be the right idea. But assuming the pose feels safe, we can notice some sensation, but it's not at all too much. In that case, we then have permission to relax completely. Allowing for the tissues to soften allowing for our body to settle more and more. As we settle, as we slow down, body becomes more still and our overall energy starts to drop here. This sort of stillness, this sort of calm creates the ideal conditions for finding a deeper sense of awareness in the present moment. So here, as the body relaxes, can you really notice just what you're feeling? Notice all the various sensations as they come and they go. And I invite you to really ask, what can you let go of? What are you holding on to that isn't serving you in either the body or maybe in the mind too? As you let go, let that be an opportunity to feel more presence, to feel more connection with your experience as it is. Let's take just a few more slow breaths in this first pose, really dropping in, really settling right here. Take a final complete breath right where you are. Now slowly begin to make your way up and out of your pose. And let's take a little pause all the way forwards on our belly. So you can extend forwards there. Relax the hips towards the floor, maybe rest your forehead. On the hands, you could also turn your cheek to the side, but be still here. Let this pose be a chance to integrate and settle after that first pose. Knowing that these resonance poses are very much a part of the practice, so we don't want to skip them. We do want to give the body a chance to settle as we transition from posture to posture. Before we move on to the next pose, let's take deep inhale breath through our nose. Open up your mouth to exhale. Let it all out. From here, let's press our way up to hands and knees. Setting up for next pose, which will be some variation of Anahata, melting heart pose, or possibly coming into dolphin prelude, depending on how this feels on your body. So let's start at the beginning here, though. 
So you'll want to set up on hands and knees with the hips nice and high. Begin to walk the torso forwards. Hands can plant down nice and flat as the hips drop back. Fingertips content into the floor here to give yourself a little more lift. If you feel like you want even more juice for the outer arms and shoulders, you could also drop down to the elbows, maybe even lifting the hands up. And if you have a couple yoga blocks, you can even rest your arms on those too. So lots of options to consider. I think I'm going to go for the dolphin prelude here for my demo. Depending on where you're tighter in your shoulders, depending on where you feel you need the release. Fine tune and listen to your body as you come in. Definitely be conscious that you're not crushing the neck here. You can even use like a blanket or a cushion underneath it if you find that helpful. Feel now as the chest, as the shoulders relax and release. Can you really find that sense of presence within this moment? Can you really notice just what you're feeling in the pose? If you notice any tightness or gripping, Asking if you might soften it. Asking if you might let it go. If you notice any tightness or resistance in the mind, maybe allowing for that to settle too. No problem with thoughts, but try not to get stuck on them. Try not to hang on to the thinking mind too much. So that little by little, we settle into that sense of connection here in this moment. Just a few more deep breaths in this posture. I invite you to scan the body. Can you let go just that last little bit? Can you find any amount more space here as you let go? Take one more complete breath just as you are. Carefully unravel the arms. And again, let's extend our way forward and take a rest all the way on our belly. On your belly, take a few deep breaths. Feel as the shoulders settle. Feel as everything integrates. Knowing that the longer hold to be due in this style of practice will create kind of a longer reverberation within the body as we come out from it. And again, before we move into our next couple poses, let's take deep inhale breath through the nose. And a long exhale breath out our mouth to release. And here, you can gently press yourself up. And what we're going to do here is actually revisit our wide knee child's pose. But this time around, we're going to add a twist into it. So you can come back kind of as you were here again, maybe on a blanket, maybe um, turning sideways on your mat, which I said was an option before. It's still true here, of course. So as you set up, taking the knees wide, and keep in mind you're a little more open now. You're welcome to go a little wider than when you first started. 
Now, rather than just crawling the chest forwards like we did before, this time around, take your left arm and thread it underneath so you're resting onto that shoulder and onto that cheek. The intention here is to feel a nice release on the outer left arm. You can decide you may choose to keep your right hand forwards. Some folks may appreciate taking that hand around the back into like a gentle half bind. But really do wait, let the weight of the body release onto that left side shoulder. As it releases, feel that unwinding, feel that ringing out of things. Here we get that rare opportunity to really be present in this moment. We really get that rare opportunity to connect with things and experience them just as they are. Just a few more slow breaths on this side. What could you still let go of? Can you find even more space, even more ease in this experience? Please take a final complete breath as you are and very carefully unravel yourself. We are basically going to dovetail the two sides together here, but take just a short pause in the middle. Let everything settle, and of course you're welcome to adjust the legs to fine-tune the pose a bit if you'd like. But whenever you're ready, we'll now take the right arm, thread it under, so you're relaxing on that cheek, relaxing onto that shoulder, Option to take the left hand around. And again, you don't have to do that, but if it feels right for your body, certainly consider that as a way to get um, a little deeper release going. Once you've found that setup, let the weight of the body relax onto that outer right arm. Feel that sense of unraveling, of wringing things out through the whole upper body. And most importantly, notice and observe just what it feels like for you to be here. When you find this awareness in the present moment, nothing needs to be a problem. No need to change things. No need to fight anything. We really embrace this opportunity to be with things as they are. To connect with our experience without expectations or an agenda. Here, please take a final complete breath as you are. Slowly unravel the arms. Slowly unravel your twist. And finally now, yet again, let's make our way all the way forwards onto our belly. And you can clear out this blanket for now. We're basically done with it for the time being. So as you settle here, you can rest the forehead on the hands. Again, you might prefer to rest on the cheek. That's totally fine. But really do rest here. Really do settle.
Feel as the inner, internal energy rebalances. Take two or three slightly deeper breaths here, just to really accentuate that process. And finally, a big inhale breath through the nose. You can really balloon and expand through the torso. Hold at the top of that breath. Now exhale out your mouth and let it go. Feel that release. Feel that reset of things. Here now on our belly, setting up for either sphinx or seal pose. So let's start with sphinx. So you'll rest your forearms out and in front of you, allowing for the chest to lift. Now, if the shoulders are really tight, you might appreciate kind of like sagging the chest, dropping the head down, something like this. You could even grab a block or something if you wanted to rest that under the forehead. If you feel like you want a little more juice for the shoulders, another way we could approach is taking the hands together and the elbows in. That will let your chest lift higher. You'll also feel probably more effect in the lower back. Or if you want to go all the way here, so to speak, consider pressing the arms straight and coming into a seal pose, really kind of leaning into the arms. Now keep in mind for many bodies, this will just be too much. So if you feel strong effect in the spine, definitely back out in that case. Remember, these poses don't need to be completely easy necessarily, but there should never be intensity to it. It should never feel like we're struggling in the pose. And if you're not sure about that, always better to err on the side of caution. Always better to back out too early than to stay too long. But all of those practical matters aside, whatever variation of the pose you've set up here, again, can you be there for it? Can you really experience this? Feel the sensations in the body. Feel the movements of your breath as they rise and fall. Let go of any gripping. Let go of any tightness or striving. Get that taste of what it's like just to surrender here in this moment. From that sense of surrender, getting that opportunity to more fully experience this present moment. And in terms of this pose, just a few more slow breaths. Let go that last little bit. Really find that last bit of space here. Take a final complete breath as you are. And slowly exhale to lower all the way down to the floor. Again, you can let the elbows wing out. You could rest on your cheek. You might just want to consider that you, you know, flip which side cheek you're resting on. Not always going the same way. Definitely take some nice deep breaths into the spine, into the shoulders. All of that upper body stuff that got so much work through our sequence so far. Let the breath energy nourish it. 
notice the subtle energetic quality from the poses we've done so far. And from here, let's now shift and find our way onto our backs. Now first, as you kind of land here, I'm gonna invite you to hug the knees into the chest. Think of this almost like a supine version of your child's pose. You're really rounding the lower back, really decompressing the spine. And given that we're entering kind of the final phase of our sequence, letting the energy settle that much more. And take a few deep breaths right here. Now you're of course welcome just to stay like this. If you want to get a little more hip and thigh release going on, consider separating the knees. You can hold one knee in each hand. If you want to go even further, you can hold on to the feet and take stirrup pose, probably known as happy baby pose for most of you. Either variation, just make sure that you're not like yanking or pulling onto the feet or the knees. Just kind of hold them there. Relax the shoulders. Let gravity do the work for you. And really feel the earth beneath you. Maybe feel a sense, almost like you're melting into your mat. And we'll linger here for about a minute or so. Take a final complete breath, just like so. As you exhale, you can release the feet, lower them onto the floor, and I'm gonna invite you just to do an easy like windshield wiper sway side to side. Releasing the side body, releasing your lower back as you do so. Just come into the middle, maybe even walk your feet a little wider here so the knees fall in, and just feel that sense of calm. Feel that sense of settling here. You're now on our back setting up for a final pair of twists. So I'm gonna recommend walking the feet in and crossing the left leg over the top of the right. From there, you'll slowly roll over onto the right-hand side, and then open your left shoulder anywhere alongside you. Now, I will kind of add to this, if you want to get even a little bit more shoulder release happening, you're welcome to take that left arm like up over your head and kind of feel that in the armpit and the side body. That might feel nice. Especially if you do twists like this fairly often, it can be nice to experiment with where you place the arm so it's not always going the exact same way. But once you've found where you'd like to be here, and with the eyes closed, really surrender into gravity. Feel that release on the lower back, maybe a bit on that left hip. Again here, noticing what it's like to be in this present moment.
take a final complete breath as you are. Slowly wind your way into the middle and as you uncross your legs here, consider just a little shift, a little release side to side for a few moments. But then set yourself up for second half, of course. Let's take the right leg on top here, stack the knees. Slowly roll your way over onto your left hand side. From there, you can gradually open your right shoulder onto the floor, relaxing, unwinding. As I said on first side, consider placing the arm higher or lower. You can work with your shoulder if you want that little bit of extra release. But once you found where you'd like to be, commit to being there. And just trust that the pose will do exactly what it needs to. Let yourself really witness and observe what that experience feels like here in this present moment. Take a final complete breath right where you are. And slowly wind into the middle here and unravel the cross of your legs. Final chance to move and release a little bit before setting up for final shavasana. Extending the legs onto the floor, just spreading out for a short pause here. Kind of a final integration pose. With your eyes closed here, really allow for the body to settle completely. Really allow for yourself to let go and release. And just one last time now, find a nice deep inhale breath through your nose. And open up your mouth to exhale and let absolutely everything go here. So just allowing yourself final few moments here as you are. Tuning into the body and the breath and just noting what those few minutes of stillness may have done for both the body and your state of mind. Slowly introducing movement and from that movement, when you're ready, finding your way up into a comfortable seat with the eyes closed. So here in this final comfortable seat, one last moment to find that sense of presence, find that sense of connection right here where you are. And we'll end our practice officially with a short offering of metta, loving kindness. 
So I'll say just a few phrases. If the meaning of these phrases creates a connection for you, consider repeating the phrase internally to deepen that connection. We'll join hands in front of the heart. May all beings be safe. May all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings live with ease, in freedom from suffering. And may we dedicate our practice for the benefit of all beings. And we bow. So thank you so very much, as always, for joining me for today's practice. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, as well as guided meditations and other yoga-related content, subscribe to my channel, because I'll be coming out with new videos each and every week.